This is my review of the film Hager, a horror film about hell. Here's a synopsis. After his colleague Schweitzer goes missing during a drug raid, undercover cop Till Hager is tasked with tracking down a mysterious new drug called Abaddon, a substance which supposedly drags its users down the deepest depths of hell. Welcome to Riley on Film. I'm your host, Damian Riley. You can find out more and subscribe for free always at RileyOnFilm.com. Now, on with the show. Please listen carefully. Well, psychedelic drugs have featured in many rock and roll films as well as some horror films. Pink Floyd's The Wall is replete with drug-intended images, references, and music. It's about a rock singer. Many, many more seek to do the same thing. While a mixed bag as far as quality, these films are beloved to college students and the career-aged as well as the older folks as well who are in love with the music. But that raises an important question. Can a drug-induced experience be enjoyed by many people? Well, I don't know. I think Hager definitely doesn't have universal appeal. At the same time, it laid out a canvas for the director to make something heady and scary. And I think he was successful with this movie. It would seem, however, that a trip into hell on psychedelics would have a lot of potential. Does our director meet that potential? Let's consider that as we go on. Kevin Kolpaka is our director. His work often deals in the supernatural. I think it's a nice experience going into the clubs and such and trying to find the root issue about this drug. He's based his film loosely on Dante's Inferno. I won't make comparisons though because I think that notion is reaching just a little bit. This is just a drug crime horror thriller. Certainly not Dante's Inferno, in my opinion. This film also had the air of a twisted German film like Irreversible, though not as violent. I was surprised it didn't have any of the violent gore like that, though. I don't know much about Kevin, but I can say he produced a visually amazing film here. You might wait to try it, because the creepiness of it really doesn't translate to a sober critic. It would be interesting to read a review by someone who was on drugs during the viewing because it's about that. Please listen carefully. Perhaps it'd be more scary that way? If you think that way, please start a conversation with me in the comments. I'd love to hear your perception. I think this film would actually be better enjoyed on drugs. Sober viewers may very well find it underwhelming. I liked it, but I know it's not made for a universal audience. While I'm on the subject of foreign horror, let me get in a few I highly recommend. High Tension, Frontiers, Good Night Mommy. Of those, I think Frontiers is probably my favorite. It consists of Nazi extremists doing things to people. Yes, they intend to say these are even worse than regular Nazis. There are legions of film in this category, and my mentions are only a few, I know there are probably more than a few of you out there who can suggest great other foreign horror. Feel free to do so in the comments. In conclusion, this creepy tale of a policeman investigating drugs while on drugs is certainly original. I think the marketing department tried to capitalize on the classic Dante's Inferno. I have read that and even taken a class in it, and it's really nothing like that in almost any way. There is a hell theme, so there's that. To the director I say, eh, next time be original or derived, but don't act like it's both. This is a solid horror film on its own. There are very attractive people doing very bad things. And the leading man is somewhat homely, I must say. I found it hard to believe that all these women were throwing themselves at him the entire time. 
I rate the final product against what I think the director was trying to do. This is an individual film response rather than a set in stone rubric. I work with those all the time and they just don't work when you're rating horrors. The film markets itself as creepy, druggy, and sexy. Since the male lead fails miserably at sexy, the women hold it up okay. The drug use is presented well with some truly amazing special effects in the way they see things and the way they hallucinate. Finally, I gave it a good score because the creepiness permeates the entire runtime. While it's not perfect, I enjoyed it. I'd love to hear what you thought of it, especially if you were on drugs while watching it. Thank you for listening to Riley on Film. I'm your host, Damian Riley. You can find out more and subscribe always for free at RileyOnFilm.com. Now, have a great day.